In this video, I'm going to show you how to create alerts in Splunk dashboard. So alerts are incredibly useful for monitoring and stay on top of your data. And I'll walk you through each step to set them up in Splunk. So first, make sure you're logged into your Splunk instance. Open your browser and go to the localhost 8000. Then once you log in, you'll land on the Splunk dashboard. Second, to create an alert, We'll first need to navigate to the search and reporting app you can find it from this blank home screen so click on the apps drop down at the top left corner of your blank dashboard and then select search and reporting from the list this will take you to the search page where you can start creating your search query and set the alert conditions next uh, you need to create a search query that defines the data you want to monitor. You can use Splunk Search Processing Language or SPL to write your query. So as you can see in the search bar, type the query that pulls the data you want to monitor. For example, if you want to track failed login attempt, you might use a query like index equals security and then source type equals access underscore combined status equals for zero. And then after that, click the search button to see the results. Once you've run the search query and see the results you want to monitor, it's time to create an alert. So in the search results page, click on the save as button located at the top right corner of the search panel. And then select alert from the drop down menu. And now you'll configure the alert. You'll need to set the following options like title, description, alert type, trigger conditions, and trigger actions. And if you're using a scheduled alert, you can choose how often you want Splunk to run the search. You can select a time range like every 5 minutes, hourly, or daily. If you choose real time, it will trigger as soon as the condition is met. And after that, configuring the alert, click save to create the alert. And the alert will now appear in your alert sections where you can manage and view triggered alerts. And after that, you can monitor your created alerts by navigating to the alert section in the search and reporting app by clicking the alerts tab on the left hand side of the screen and you'll see all your active alerts and their status. And that's it. That's how you create alerts in Splunk dashboards. Alerts are a great way to monitor specific conditions in your data in real time and stay informed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.